The cinematic world of Marvel and DC may feel real on the screen, but much of the creation is done thanks to the amazing CG work by talented special effects artists. The blend of these effects with real performers has created some spectacular movie stunts that led to unforgettable moments on screen. Check out our awesome video, but before you do that, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Can you guess which movie is represented by these emoji? Stay tuned at the end to find out. Let's count them down. Deadpool. It's pretty safe to say that Deadpool broke the mold for superhero films. The R rating, intense violence, and constant breaking of the fourth wall all helped contribute to a huge hit for the mutant hero. To help set up audience expectations and showcase a different tone, the film had to start off with a captivating scene that served as a blueprint for the rest of the movie. Using a blend of some incredible CG effects, Deadpool did exactly that, and audiences were hooked just minutes into the film. The opening scene starts out with a shootout on a highway. Impressive CGI was used to freeze all the action mid-air and showcase the opening credits. Bullets froze in air, bodies flew to the ground, and Deadpool stuck his head out the skyroof of an SUV. This was followed by the great 12 bullet scene. In the CGI-filled scene, Deadpool killed all of the goons using just 12 bullets in very creative ways. As the bullet shells flew through the air, we could read the number on each one, along with the kills. We see a bullet go through Deadpool's arm and watch as it instantly heals itself. All the while, the scene felt real and authentic as it took place during the daylight and on a crowded highway area. This was just the first scene of many to showcase the authentic looking CGI used in the movie. One of the other very impressive uses came with the creation of the CG character Colossus. Doctor Strange one of Marvel's most ambitious superhero films was the action-adventure origin story Doctor Strange. Starring Benedict Cumberbatch as the title character, the movie enters a world not as well known to mainstream movie audiences. Not only did Marvel make a movie based on the cult hero, but they had to create a visual world with multiple dimensions and very complicated set designs. Well, it all paid off. The biggest highlight in Doctor Strange comes when the characters visit the land known as the Mirror Dimension. Sure, Inception may have been the first to showcase a surreal world with such authenticity, but it was Doctor Strange that perfected it. Gravity isn't an issue in the mirror dimension, where cars drive horizontally, vertically, and onto streets facing all types of directions. Buildings change shapes and reform like some type of psychedelic Windows screensaver. The whole world becomes even more impressive when Doctor Strange enters it and showcases some of his heroic actions. Building shift, angles may seem confusing, but once you adjust to the different angles, it actually makes the mirror dimension feel real. The whole dimension was crafted digitally, setting new standard for future movies. It makes the Matrix look like a PS2 game when you're comparing the effects side by side. There's no word yet on the exact release date for Doctor Strange 2, but you can expect them to explore this visually stunning world even further for the sequel. Buckled in? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good, Arrow guy. Let's go, let's go! Captain America Civil War Captain America Civil War is basically a CGI bonanza. New heroes like Black Panther tore through the streets. Spider-Man made his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut. Old favorites like Iron Man and Captain America showcased their great powers. Even with all of this, there was one hero and special effect that really stole the whole movie. Enter Giant Man. In the 2015 film Ant-Man, fans only got to see the hero shrink down to a normal size. Then came Captain America Civil War, where Ant-Man got to showcase his newest power. During the giant airport battle featuring heroes like Hawkeye, Black Widow, and the Black Panther, Ant-Man used the Giant Man power to turn an enormous size. Among the chaotic battle, the Giant Man transformation added humor, great action, and a nice change of pace to the action. Giant Man's triumph ended when Spider-Man wrapped his legs in webbing, and Iron Man nailed a double-flying uppercut with the assistance of Warhammer. Not only was the CGI done beautifully, but it was mixed incredibly well with other heroes like Scarlet Witch and Vision. The scene wasn't overly long, but it did give a nice preview of what's to come in the Marvel sequel, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Hopefully Giant Man returns for a few more action scenes with different purposes, and some great action. Hi, hello, Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow, wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice The epic clash between Batman and Superman was chock full of action for a movie that was over two and a half hours theatrically. The CGI used to create the worlds of both Gotham and Metropolis created a gritty and realistic feel with great visuals and awesome hero designs for Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Along with CGI creations like Doomsday, the film had a lot of subtle CGI moments that felt like they were taped on a real set. One of these scenes was the lengthy Batmobile chase scene. The newly designed Batmobile was sleek, fast, and still had a number of features found on former cinematic versions of the vehicle. A majority of the Batmobile scenes were actually created digitally. It took filmmakers nearly a year to design the Batmobile, and all of that hard work paid off. In one of the greatest Batmobile chase scenes to ever get put on film, Ben Affleck's Batman weaves through the streets of Gotham in pursuit of some Russian mobsters. He used machine guns to blast his way through boats, tear through buildings, and make it over a ton of obstacles. The scene ends in a fiery mess 
Ross when Batman spots Superman and the Batmobile is sent crashing on the side of the road. With barely a flick of his wrist, Superman tore the Batmobile's doors off and sent them flying through the air. The whole movie was packed with so much action, but it would have been great to see the Batmobile get one more scene of action. Captain America Captain America The First Avenger was a critical film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as it helped set up the Avengers and bring Captain America to a modern time. For the hero's creation, we needed an origin story that felt real, authentic, and delivered on the action. Early in the film, some great CGI was used to showcase Steve Rogers as a puny boy and wannabe soldier. Once he transformed into Captain America, he kept all the great traits that fans know and love today. This is when the real action could start. Branded with his signature outfit and a trusty shield, Captain America and his band of misfit soldiers devised a plan to hijack a high-speed train weaving through the mountains. Captain America ziplines down over the train and lands on the top of it. The CG was great. The moments had the familiarity of an Indiana Jones film, and the whole backdrop added even more to the suspense. The scene felt even more real when Bucky was dangling off the side of the train and dropped down into the mountains for his presumed death. It might not compare to the over-the-top action seen in The Winter Soldier or Civil War, but it showcased all of the potential that a Captain America franchise could have, and pulled it off brilliantly. X-Men Days of Future Past the best part of seeing any new X-Men movie is having the ability to watch mutants go all out with their powers. In the more recent films, the CGI effects for Mystique have been impressive, but there's always other heroes like Wolverine, Storm, and Magneto providing some great CGI moments. In X-Men Days of Future Past, there was one scene that had everyone talking. It involved the introduction of Quicksilver to the X-Men universe. We knew that Quicksilver was fast, but we didn't realize just how fast the hero could be until an epic scene was taped and created with some CGI glory. As a group of X-Men try to get past some armed guards, Quicksilver jumps into to hyperspeed, and we follow in his footsteps as he runs on walls, changes the path of bullets, and sets up a number of numerous situations. Not only does he complete all of these impressive feats, but he does it to the classic song, Time in a Bottle. No fancy action score needed here. The whole scene plays out in a super slow motion, which made the CGI effects look even more impressive. Once we go back into real time, we can see how all the different scenarios played out and created a truly fun moment. A similar scene was also created for the sequel, X-Men Apocalypse. In this scene, Quicksilver must save a ton of people and a dog from a huge explosion. I'm on a mission. What mission? Peace in our time. Avengers Age of Ultron. Avengers Age of Ultron really upped the CGI effects from the first Avengers film. Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch showcased an abundance of new superpowers. The digital Ultron robot had a whole army of other robots do battle with the heroes. To top it all off, a whole city was detached from Earth and seen floating in the sky. Now you know that was not done as a practical effect. Even though Ultron was superbly animated and created a legitimate villain for the heroes, one of the best CGI scenes in the movie involved the battle between the Incredible Hulk and Iron Man. Iron Man needed a way to stop the Hulk from causing too much destruction, and he did this by creating the Hulkbuster Iron Man suit. Officially known as the Mark 44, the Hulkbuster suit is a huge design with multiple features including advanced strength, flying abilities, and jackhammer style punches. When Tony Stark gets into the suit, the crazy battle begins through city streets. For the first time, you see some vulnerabilities in the Hulk as the two go back and forth in an attempt to get one over on the other. In the end, it's the Hulkbuster suit that is finally able to stop the Hulk from causing too much destruction. The whole scene was all CGI, but it felt like the two heroes were actually battling it out on the streets. That was a lot scarier a second ago. Ant-Man. We've seen plenty of movies with shrinking effects before. We've even seen shrunken people interact with ants in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. But the Marvel film Ant-Man took things to whole new heights with the miniature-sized hero. Throughout the film, we see awesome effects and perspectives as Ant-Man learns how to control the suit, ride on ants, and goes into stealth mode to infiltrate an evil company. Midway through the movie, the CGI effects of the suit are like second nature and help viewers believe that the hero was real. This all led up to a climactic battle on a toy train track. Yes, that's right. The final scenes in Ant-Man take place on a Thomas the Train playset. Despite like this, it doesn't take away from the drama, suspense, and action. The CG feels so real that it creates a lot of great moments and shots for the scenes as Yellow Jacket tries to destroy Ant-Man. The scene brilliantly cuts from violent close-ups to wide shots that showcase the small size of the playset within the room. Another great moment occurs when Ant-Man accidentally increases the size of the Thomas train and sends it flying outside of the house. The real setting of a house helps make the CGI feel more authentic. There was no space battles, planets, or random warehouses where the heroes were doing battle. The Dark Knight Rises 
For Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, the director wanted to rely on practical effects as much as possible. Of course, that wouldn't be the case for key moments, including the formation of Two-Face or some of the crazy car chases, but overall, a lot of the gritty action was shot directly in the camera. When it came time to film The Dark Knight Rises, there was one key scene where CGI was absolutely needed. In an effort to trap police forces and hold Gotham under siege, the villain Bane decided to implode the Gotham football stadium. Several tense moments led up to this implosion as the national anthem is sung. Thousands of fans filled the seats, and viewers anxiously waited for the trigger to get pressed. Right after the kickoff, the implosion happens as players fall through the field, explosions go off, and the whole stadium collapses into the ground. The whole scene was filmed at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but relied on a lot of CGI to make it happen. A fake field was actually placed over the real one so that the actors would have something to run on. Small explosions were cleverly mixed with digital effects to help create a realistic sense that the field was actually sinking into the ground. The final effect looked so great that it was used with promotional materials for the film and became one of the key set pieces. Drop it now! Hey, cool man. No problem. No problem at all. Guardians of the Galaxy. For a film like Guardians of the Galaxy, the special effects team basically had to digitally create their own galaxy. There's ships flying through space, alien planets, war zones, and a number of new species to consider. The world was made believable, as viewers could relate to characters like Star-Lord and Drax the Destroyer. One of the biggest successes of Guardians of the Galaxy was the all-CGI character simply known as Groot. The tree-like alien could grow limbs, was incredibly tall, and had a great buddy-buddy relationship with Rocket Raccoon. Despite only being able to say, I am Groot, the CG used for the character made him empathetic, believable, and the true heart of the the story. His interactions with Rocket, another CG character, felt real and helped create a superhero odd couple that we all love. One of the more impressive CGI scenes involving Groot was his self-sacrifice to save his space-traveling buddies. As a large ship was destined for a catastrophic crash landing, it was Groot that grew his limbs out and created a safety net for Rocket and his friends. The scene was beautifully done and really made you feel for Groot as he blew up into thousands of small stick pieces. Even though Groot made the ultimate sacrifice, fans got something even better out of the scene, Baby Groot. Baby Groot's animation in Guardians of the Galaxy Galaxy Volume 2 looks just as impressive as the first, if not better. Wow, there you have it. What superhero CGI impressed you the most? Are there any incredible scenes that we missed? What superhero films do you think has the worst CGI? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. And the answer to our emoji quiz is...